Hey, what's up, nerds? It is Paul at Radio Free Hammer Hall. And today we're going to do a little math hammer on our nightly options for the Empire of Man in Warhammer the Old World. So uh, a few days ago, I saw a video that was, you know, doing, you know, your standard sort of review of, uh, you know, the uh, Empire Army list. And um, I believe it was the Ghost Owl. And I believe he was saying that he really liked Inner Circle Knights better than, you know, regular Knights and Demigriffs. Um, and I was like, that doesn't seem right to me. But so let's see. Um, so I did a whole bunch of math on it. So let's uh, dive down through and talk about everything going on with these. So we've got three different options. We've got our standard knights, which are core at 22 points each. The inner circle knights are 40 points each in special and demigriff knights are 63 points each in special as well uh, all of them to have different special rules and different defensive profiles they all do have the same movement and the demigriffs are monstrous cavalry so it limits what characters you can put in with them uh, otherwise the others are just your standard heavy cav so um there's there's a lot to dig into here. Let's look at their special rules first. All right. So your standard knights, they they don't really come with much in the way of special rules on their own. They just have swift stride, counter charge, first charge. Um, you can buy drilled. You can buy stubborn. I believe they're each a point per model. Um, in all of my math, I just assumed I was buying drilled because I always buy drilled and it's one point per model. So it's not really going to mess up the math anyway. Um, leadership on your regular knights and your demigriffs are eight and inner circle are nine. Your inner circle knights get that drilled for free. And then your demigriffs uh, have fear, but they don't have veteran drilled or stubborn. Uh, and your inner circle knights also have veterans. Uh, and then, other important thing, uh, room for magic banners. Your regular knights only have 25 points they can spend on their banners. And then Inner Circle and Demigriffs both can spend 50. So you can see here as you're kind of like, your regular knights are definitely uh, less options. They, they're, you're, they're your cheapest chips option, as the British folk would like to say. Um then your inner circle have a whole bunch of special rules and then your demigriffs uh, cause fear. All right. Uh, defensive stats. Um, so for your uh, Empire Knights, 22 points per model, uh, min size four. So you're looking at a minimum of 88 point investment. Uh, they're one wound each, so a unit is going to be four wounds. They have a maximum three-up save. I, I'm assuming all of my math here is with Lance Shield. Um, so this is going to be able to absorb 12 wounds. Uh, if they take 12 wounds, they're going to save two-thirds of those, and then the last wound will kill them. On average. On average. This is just kind of looking at the averages, so to speak. Then our point absorption per point uh, is 0 0.14. This is just a ratio for comparison purposes, especially if you're new here, don't follow my math in the past. Uh, that is generally how I do things. Figure out how much per point are you pay, are getting, right? Um, we'll talk about that last column at the end. Uh, our inner circle knights, 40 points each, min size four, so 160 point investment at a minimum. Four wounds, they have a two up save, so you're going to be able to take 24 wounds with them before they go down. Um, so that is uh, very valuable because they're saving five out of six. Um, and then. Their absorption is right in line with the uh, the Empire Knights. That 0 0.14 versus 0 0.15. So they're really close. Then we look at Demigriffs, 
at 63 points each, min size two. So 260 minimum investment. There are three wounds per model. So you're getting six wounds for that 126 points. Uh, they'll have a two up save when you kit them out. Uh, so that leaves them at a damage absorption of 36 and 0 0.29 per point. So their absorption, the amount of damage they are able to take per point of investment is twice as much as your regular knights and your inner circle knights. And that's what that last column is, showing the comparison versus the demigriffs. Uh, because the, the demigriffs you'll find in all of these examples are better than everything else. And so I did the comparison column at the end of all of these just to show, like, how many Empire Knights do you need to buy to get the same defensive capability as Demigriffs? Gotta buy two to one, basically. Um, and then same for Inner Circle. So, you know, in terms of defensive profile, your... Empire Knights and your Inner Circle Knights are roughly the same value. Now, the Inner Circle Knights are more expensive, and they have a 2-up save. So, they are going to be, generally speaking, more durable. And I haven't factored armor piercing into any of this. Um, so, the, the armor piercing, obviously, is going to be more of a detriment to that 3-up save than to the 2-up saves. All right, let's look at offense. So, hoo-ha. Um, there's two charts here. <laughs> Top chart, this is all of your stats. Um, you know, attack, strength, weapon, skill, AP, and then any applicable special rules. Then the bottom chart is translating that into your roll to hit, roll to wound, assuming that the unit you're attacking is weapon skill 3, and toughness three with a five up save um well five up save is next chart but so looking across these the inner circle knights and the empire knights have the same horses that they're riding weapon skill three strength three no ap um assuming lance and shield on both all of your knights have weapon skill four so that's not something we're even really thinking about Empire Knights, base strength 3, go to 5 with a Lance Charge. Say, then on your Inner Circle Knights, their base strength is 4, which goes to 6 with their Lance. And same on the Demigriffs. The trick here, though, is your Inner Circle Knights are rerolling their ones to hit for the Knight. So that is increasing their total hits a little bit. So translating that down, um, you know, with a Lance attack, you're looking at threes, twos, threes, twos, threes, twos for all of the riders. Um, the important thing here, though, is let's look at the Demigriff. The Demigriff mount. They're throwing three attacks each at weapon skill four, strength five, AP2. They're good. They throw so much damage. So then when we look at this, like the mount, you're looking at like, they're going to be on like threes and twos. I messed up on my chart, but they're going to be on threes and twos going into um, something with weapon skill three strength, uh, toughness three. And then AP2, it's going to wipe out their armor. So they're going to just crack through so much. The, the mount itself is doing as much work as three riders on the charge. Let, let, let that go for a moment. Like, one demigriff knight on the charge is worth the same as a unit of four empire or uh, inner circle knights, roughly. Uh, like just taking into account the knights themselves, not the horses. The horses aren't going to do much anyway. So um, these demigriffs are very powerful. All right. This is where we crunch the numbers a little bit further. 
Um, so this is comparing, uh, yeah, basically charging versus not charging. And also in here, I also just included the great weapon stats for the inner circle knights and the empire knights, just because they're the same as the lance that they just kind of come out the same. Your defensive profile will be different because you can't have that, the, um, great weapon and shield at the same time. But that is uh, a bit of a different discussion of whether or not that's going to be worth it for you. So our output efficiency, that is our uh, average damage output um, per point, basically, right? So your average lance on an Empire Knight when you charge is going to do 0.56 damage. So if you have four Knights charging, they should get through two damage against Weapon Skill 3, Toughness 3, save a 5 up. So on a per point basis, you're getting 0.0314 damage out of them per point you spend. Now, we look down to the Inner Circle Knights, and you'll see that their efficiency is actually worse. Uh, that's definitely an issue, because they're very much more expensive against this profile. The Lance is doing the same amount of damage. The Horse is doing the same amount of damage. They're going to come in and be more valuable against enemies that have higher toughness that will definitely be more valuable to you. But even against a better save, it's not really doing anything for you. But then we look at the efficiency of our uh, demigriffs and look at just how much damage these guys are always throwing around. It, a unit of two of these guys against, again, the three up... Uh, I'm sorry, not three up... <laughs> Weapon skill 3, toughness 3, armor save of 5, you charge with two of them, and you're going to probably do, on average, 6 damage. You're just going to plow something hard. You you go into a unit of you know, basic infantry, you're going to pop their whole front rank. And then they're not going to be able to crack back at you, so all you have to do is beat their combat res, static combat res. Right, like demigriffs are going to just blow things up, and everybody's the same speed. Um, and then looking at like the value again, comparing against the demigriff, your value is so much better. Your you have to buy four inner circle knights to get the same amount of power output as one demigriff. Oh, so you need your min unit size of two demigriffs. You need to buy eight inner circle knights and have them all hit at once to equal that unit of two demigriffs. And on a per point basis, it's just so much more, so much more points. Um, so really, demigriffs are just like the clear, clear winners in this army. So, some final thoughts and takeaways on this. I think demigriffs are just your all-around choice. They are fantastic. I love them. I have always loved them. I am a great lover of demigriffs. Um, they can take more damage. They deal more damage. Um, I'm... They're... They'll, they'll be weaker to killing blow. Um, there's a few things out there that might be weaker. Things that just pick up a model rather than doing wounds to things. Um, your standard knights, your empire knights, are core. So that is definitely a reason to be taking some of those. They are definitely a solid core choice. you got to fill up your core. I think knights are a good option for that. The downside of demigriffs is they have limitations on who can join them as far as characters. A demigriff mount costs 50 points, which is a lot. It's just a lot. 
Um, a, a Pegasus can join them as well, but those are 30 points, and then you're losing movement off of that. So it, it it's a bit tricky. I mean, you can take um you can take a lot of things in that unit that you would want, but you know, you're not gonna get priests in, you're not gonna get a witch hunter in or an engineer. Not that you really care about an engineer. Um But you know, you can get your commanders and your masters in there. Um I think you might be able to get a wizard in there too, but I'm not sure why you would do that. Uh so that's just sort of what I'm looking at here in a nutshell, like I would just rather take the demigriffs any day of the week. Like if I just had my choice of like, what do I want for a hammer unit? They're just the most efficient thing. That's just going to obliterate opponents. And, you know, before I was looking at them, I'm like, Oh, I should like run these in threes. Right. Cause that's what I'm used to doing. That's what comes in a box of these historically. And now that I'm doing the math, I'm like, you know, I think two is fine. <laughs> like, like I, Two, I, I might want to run two units of two instead of two units of three and give me some extra flexibility so that I'm not overkilling quite as much. Or maybe even three units of two. I don't know. That would be cool. It'd be fun. I'm sure somebody would be unhappy about that. Um, and then Demigriff characters are just fun too because they, they uh, can do a lot of damage. Inner Circle Knights, I just don't really see a role for these. The demigriffs are just almost always better in pretty much every way. So I don't know why you take inner circle. Um, I, I Like genuinely, I can't think of anything. Like maybe they didn't do the math on these guys with that reroll ones to hit to see how much that actually does. Because rerolling ones is just not that big of a boost. But it seems to be a thing in this game that they try to throw on to things to be like, oh, it's going to do a bunch more damage. No, it's not. It it it's like the weakest buff that you can give something. Anyway, that is it for got now, guys. Um, I'm gonna leave a link down below for uh the original video from the Ghost Owl, a uh, fantastic channel. Don't mean to be like criticizing me or anything. Um, just was kind of a response. I thought it was a good video that he did, and I wanted to do some of my own math. So I'll talk to you all later.